At the beginning, we see a girl called Juliet, she was traveling in the city in a van. Where there was no one because the whole city was barren. Everything was finished there. But only Juliet and the people of her base were left. She had come to the city to find the necessary things for her soldiers. She had a gun and a picture of her husband in the van. She still misses her husband a lot. Now, she stops her van near a gas station. That place was also completely destroyed. Juliet goes inside and rests a little, because she was very tired. But then she starts hearing noises from that gas station, which scared her a lot. And she goes away from there as well. Actually, in the whole world, the apocalypse, such devastation was spread. Where there were dangerous creatures that looked like humans, which were spread all over. Those creatures hunted humans and ate them after killing them. They did not come out during the day, but came out at night and attacked humans. Now, the noise that Juliet heard from inside the gas station, was of those dangerous creatures that were hidden there. After which, Juliet sits in her van again, and talks to her commander on the intercom. He also tells Juliet about the creatures, and also says that she should do her work carefully. Here, Juliet's intercom battery is about to run out, it was also going to be night. That's why she starts taking her van from a small way. A little ahead, she sees another van where a man was injured. When she goes and sees him, he tells Juliet that a creature attacked me last night and has done this to me. I have locked him in my van, but that man was in a lot of pain. That's why he tells Juliet to kill him, because he was not able to bear the pain. After which she goes into the injured man's van and kills that creature. And comes out with the necessary things. That man was also dead outside. Now it was going to be night, that's why Juliet quickly sits in her van, and starts going to her base. When she was going, she sees her husband Jack's picture on the way. She gets distracted and her van has an accident. So the story goes from here to the past. When everything was fine, and when the world was not like this. We see Juliet in an art gallery, where she was looking at paintings. There she met Jack for the first time, who was the owner of that art gallery. Jack comes and asks her, did you like that painting? To which she says yes maybe, because Juliet did not come here to see any paintings. But she came here for free food. From her words, Jack also understood, that she does not know anything about paintings. She tells him that it was raining outside, and I just came here. But Jack listens to her and says, I know God has sent you here because he wants to bring us together. After which he shows Juliet a painting, on which a very strange face was painted, he says look at it. Looking at this, you must be feeling how bad it is, but what I say is look at it carefully. Don't go on its face. In fact, see how beautifully it has been made. That is, Jack was explaining to her about the inner beauty of man here. Now, the next day, Jack meets Juliet again, and takes her to his house. She was surprised to see the house, because his house was very big and beautiful. They both sit and talk a lot. Where they find out that both of them don't have their parents. But after a while, Juliet feels something strange and she starts going. Because she was doubting him after seeing Jack's good behavior. That's why she leaves his house. After which the scene after a few days is shown. Jack sees Juliet in a bar. There was an old man with her. Jack does not like to see this at all. He feels even worse knowing this. Juliet spends time with such bad people just to take money. That's why he follows her now. He had come to her house. But he sees that some goons were troubling Juliet. Because she had not paid the rent of their house. So seeing all this, Jack helps her. He pays the rent to the owner of the house. And tells Juliet that I can help you, if you want but she does not listen to him, and on the contrary, in anger, she tells him to leave her house. Many days pass like this. One day, Juliet herself comes to Jack's house, her condition was very bad, and she was very injured. This condition was caused by those goons, from whom Jack had saved her before. When Jack sees her condition like this, he gets very worried. Anyway, he cleans her wounds, and takes good care of her. Juliet did not know how much Jack loved her. That's why he was taking so much care of her. 
Here we learn one more thing about Juliet. That she used to do drugs. Now when she gets completely fine. She was going out to do drugs again. Jack stops her and says do not do this. On which she gets very angry, and starts throwing things from the house. That's why Jack hugs her and calms her down. He wanted to get rid of her drug addiction. That's why he takes her away from the city, where he buys a very beautiful house. They had also got married, and they were living happily there. One day, Juliet gives good news to Jack, that she is going to be a mother. Jack is very happy with this. But when her child is born, he was dead. Because of this, both of them were very sad. Jack knew this, all this happened because of Juliet's addiction. But he does not say anything to her, because he was also very sad. Juliet again started doing more drugs than before, and she used to stay out of the house all night. Jack went out and found her, and took care of her. But one day when both were going in the car, they had a fight. Juliet tells him, you are responsible for my child's death. On which Jack gets very angry, and he gets out of the car and goes to a factory, and Juliet also came to a bar. That is when she gets a call from Jack but she does not pick up. But when she watches the news on TV, in which it was being told, that forty people died near the factory due to a chemical explosion. So she gets very scared, and starts thinking about Jack. Then she picks up Jack's phone, so a man tells her that Jack's condition is very bad. And he is in the hospital, Juliet goes to the hospital quickly. She goes and sees that Jack was in a room, whose condition was very bad. Seeing this, Juliet was regretting it now. That if there had not been a fight between them, then Jack would not have been in such a state. Anyway, whenever she goes to Jack, he could not speak. That's why he writes I love you on a board, seeing this, Juliet cries a lot, because now she had realized Jack's love. She did not want to lose him. Juliet was sure that he would be fine, nothing will happen to him. The next day, when she comes to the hospital, Jack was not there. When she asks the hospital staff tells her that he is dead, and they burned his body. Because he was completely infected. Hearing this, Juliet was now broken. After his death, she remembers a lot of memories of Jack. After Jack's death, Juliet was now completely alone. After this, we see the story again in the present, where Juliet's van had an accident. Now, slowly she comes to her senses, and her leg was stuck in the van. She tries to move but she can't move. Then she sees her gun, which was a little far from the van. She tries to pull it towards her with a wire but she can't pull it. Now, she pulls out her leg somehow, but her leg bone was broken, which was now coming out. She puts alcohol on it and puts it in with her hand, which was hurting her a lot, but she had now tied a bandage on her leg. She also tries to contact her base with the radio present in her van, but she can't talk to anyone. Now she slowly goes out while crawling, and goes and picks up her gun. Then a strange creature came from the sound of her radio, which looked exactly like a human. Actually, all these creatures were humans before, but because of the chemical explosion in that factory, the survivors turned into creatures. That is, the same explosion in which Jack also died. Juliet then hears a voice on her radio, someone was speaking from her base. But now that creature was also coming towards her. Because the sound of the radio was attracting the creature towards Juliet. Then Juliet throws that radio away from her van, with which, that creature also goes near the radio. Picks it up and throws it away. After which, Juliet throws some tube lights out, from which it could be seen in the darkness, so that she can find the radio with their help, she gets the radio. But at the same time, the creature also saw her. Which starts following her. After seeing this, Juliet comes back to her van and starts waiting for the creature with her gun. The creature comes from behind and catches Juliet, but she presses the accelerator of the van. Because of this, he got scared and goes back a little, but he attacks her again. Juliet this time shoots her with her gun and pulls him away. Now, she has talked to the radio as well. The people of her base say, to turn on the tracking device in your van, from which we will find you, and she does the same where she was trying to escape from a strange creature. At the same time, 
That creature breaks the glass in front of her van and starts moving towards her. But Juliet quickly turns on the headlight, with which he ran away. Because these creatures could not tolerate much light. Later, she talks on her base on the radio again. On which, they tell her that we are in danger. If you also stay alive till morning, we will save you. Hearing this, Juliet got more scared. Then she hears the sound of another car. She looks at that car and starts calling them. Actually, they were thieves and goons. Who used to kill people, steal their stuff and run away. When a man from that car hears the voice of Juliet. Then instead of saving her, he came to kill her. But the creature present there pulls that man and kills him. And eats him, with which Juliet's life was saved. The rest of the men were scared of the creature and ran away. But now poor Juliet was very scared of everything and herself thinks of taking her life because she did not want to die at the hands of the creature. Now, she gains courage and comes out of the van. She had a petrol can and a flare stick. At a distance from the van, she puts the petrol can, and sets the flare sticks on fire. Seeing the light, the creature was coming towards her, as soon as he comes to her, she shoots the petrol can. With which there is a big blast there. But that creature still does not die from that blast. He pulls Juliet and throws her away. But this time Juliet shot that creature, with which he falls there. And Juliet was also lying there. Because she was injured and very tired. In the morning, the creature came to his senses. He was slowly moving towards Juliet again. She picks up a gun to kill him again. But this time the bullets in his gun were also over. That creature comes to her and touches her exactly the same way, as Jack used to touch her. Here we and Juliet know that Jack was not dead. In fact, he was alive and transformed into a creature. He was with Juliet all the time. As if he was protecting her. Then Juliet remembers Jack's words about the painting. In which there was a very strange face. He was explaining to her about the inner beauty of a person. Now, she understands that meaning. Also, now she had also agreed that they were destined to meet. She now tells Jack that she also loves him very much. Both of them were very sad. After which in the end, Juliet kills herself and Jack by shooting. Maybe she did it because, she thinks herself responsible for Jack's condition. And she kills Jack for this reason. She was very sad to see him in such a condition. She did not want Jack to harm anyone else, so always take care of your loved ones, who love you. This survival story ends here.